think we're going to get two million of that uh, for our expenses, um, and then the rest of it goes and gets divvied up, and, and we get that and what other teams get for their bowl games when we get our check in from the SEC at the spring meeting. So um, when you go to one of these New Year's Six, I think you get a little bit more money for expenses from the SEC arrangement, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be taken care of come June when we get the big check. The arms race kind of in the conference continues. Has there been any talk about changing Dan Mullen's contract or an extension or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, you know, we're five for He's been a five year. We're five for five on extending him. So I'm sure we'll make it six for six. We've actually had some productive conversations. Dan, um, in his defense, his focus has kind of been recruiting and, and bowl prep. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm optimistic we can get that wrapped up pretty soon. Is it different for you as an AD? someone trying to come pluck him away rather than when the pass, you know, when it's either up to you to bring him back. You know something I don't know? <laughs> but I'm just saying, from what national people are saying, throwing his name out there, whether it's true or not true, it's a different type of atmosphere for you as an well, AD. You know, those are the same people who told me he was on the hot seat last year. Sure. So I, you know, I don't put a lot of stock in that. It's, no, it's very, it's a very similar conversation that we normally have. Um, you know, we, we want to make sure that we reward Dan for what he's done and, and also continue to invest going forward, not only in him, but his whole staff. And, and uh, I think we'll be in a position to do that. I'm, I, I think, like I said, we've had productive conversations. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm hopeful we'll get that wrapped up. From an AD's perspective, what's it been like? I know you don't deal with him every day, but Dak Prescott, just not just the performance on the field, but he seems like he'd be a good ambassador for the program. Just from your seat, what's that look like? He's a, he's a dream. I mean, he's. Uh, you love being around. Uh, you say young people. He's, you know, he's he's, getting, you know, he's, a, he's an alum now. He's a graduate. He's uh, he's just a special guy, and he was mature beyond his years the minute he set foot on campus. And people forget he enrolled early. You know, he came in January of his senior year of high school. Uh, but you could tell from the moment he set foot on campus that there was something different about him. Uh, maturity level, uh, uh, leadership skills that were just.